Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video, so I'm very excited. But if you don't know who I am, my name is Kelsey, and my channel is basically just gonna be like vlogs, health, fitness, all that good stuff. So it'll be fun. So it's Friday currently, and I'm still working, so I'm just finishing up work. And then I do have to go to the grocery store to get stuff for meal prepping this weekend. So I'll take you guys along with me and I'll do a little grocery haul. I am now in the car. I just got done from work. So I'm on my way to the grocery store now. So I'll show you guys what I get. And when I get back, I'll do a full grocery haul. And then later on in the weekend, I'll show you guys what I meal prep for the week as well. So I just got back from the grocery store and... This is everything that I got while I was out there. So I'll run through everything that I got. So I have it split up into categories of what I have. So I'll start with like the drink type stuff. So I got some more milk. This is the milk that we always use. I use it for my overnight oats, cereal, anything that requires milk. This is the only milk that I drink and use. I got a mini chop 50 no pulp because i have prosecco in the fridge and i was also making skinny margaritas and it uses orange juice so i decided to just get a little one for those drinks and then i saw the pumpkin spice creamer and i had to have it because it's also the almond milk creamer and i always put almond milk in my coffee if i get it out so i decided to grab the pumpkin spice unsweetened almond milk creamer which I'm really excited for. It has zero sugar, 1.5 grams of fat, zero carbs, zero protein. So really good choice for a creamer. And then I got this Boathouse Farms Creamy Caesar Yogurt Dressing. I'm going to do like a Caesar chicken this week for meal prep. So that's why I got this. Pretty much everything is for meal prep. That's usually how I like to do my grocery shopping is I decide what meals I'm going to make for the upcoming week and then I get what I need based on that. And then sometimes I grab like extra stuff or random stuff based on what I see. Um, so I got this shredded sharp cheddar for another meal that I'm making. And then I got these little cheddar cubes because I really like cheddar cheese and I thought these would be good to just like snack on. Um, and then I got some hard boiled eggs because we like to snack on these as well. So then moving on to like produce type of stuff, I got baby romaine. And then I also got a spring mix for a meal prep that I'm making. And then I got some cherry tomatoes for that same thing that I'm making and some sweet corn. So I just got the frozen bag just because it's easier to make. And then I got a red onion and I got some green Granny Smith apples. These are the only apples that I like. I like Granny Smith apples because they're sour um, and I don't like red apples because I feel like they're mushy. All right, moving on to the meat section. I got these apple and chicken sausages. So I just got two packs of these for another meal that I'm making. All right, so then for the other meat that I got, I got these like pre-cut things of beef. So I got three or yeah, three of these for another meal that I am making. And then I just got two things of chicken breast again for another meal that I'm making. So I got two of these. We go through a lot of chicken. So usually weekly I get two of those or three of those depending on what I'm making. Um, and then I'm making enchiladas this week as well. So I just got the mild sauce and then I got some black beans as well and the tortillas that I got for them are these carb balance ones I always get these I really like these are this is the whole wheat version and then I got some Spanish style rice again I'm super lazy sometimes so I got <laughs> the microwave versions just because they're quick and easy and I think sometimes it's worth it to get quicker things like this and the hard boiled eggs when you're meal prepping a lot of food. It just makes life a lot easier. The thing that I got is tortilla chips because we love chips and salsa. So I had to get more tortilla chips. Tortilla chips is another thing that I get like pretty much weekly just because 
we love chips and salsa <laughs> and we eat tortilla chips all the time so now i am going to put all of this away i decided to make a skinny margarita type thing that i've been making and it's really good so first thing i do is i just stick my cup in the sink because i like to strain the limeade first um, so I just have this little strainer that I put on top of the cup and then this is the limeade that I use It just has like some pulp stuff in it, which I don't like um, So I just like to strain it first Okay, so now we have our limeade and I put like half of it really I just kind of guess with everything but this cup is pretty big so that's like a decent amount in there and then i just take a shot glass and i'm just using the jose cuervo silver tequila do usually like one and a half shots um okay maybe like over a shot and a half that's how much i'm putting in for the second one um and that's literally all you need and that is the final product so i'm trying to do these impress nails so these are the ones in the color curious mind and i have them all laid out i don't know if you guys can see it and then i have them laid out on like the way that i'm going to put them on my fingers so I'm just doing the prep time, which you have to use this little like cleaner pad thing, cleaner nails. And then I guess you just stick them on. So we'll see how it goes. I'm generally not really good at these things. So if I can do it, then I recommend everyone to do it because if I get this down, then it'll be pretty easy. pretty good like from afar but i don't know how well they are on i feel like the sides are still lifted a little bit so i don't know if i held them on for long enough or if i need to hold them on longer but i feel like in general like from far away they look pretty good um i need to file some of them down because some of them are longer than I wanted them to be. These are the short version because I like shorter nails. So these shorts are from Talentless. Whenever I wear them in an Instagram story, I get so many questions on where they're from. They're from Talentless, but they are pretty much always sold out, which is really annoying. Um, and I did size up to a medium because I read the reviews and all the reviews said that they were really small, which they are. I'm so happy I sized up because if I got a small, there's no way that they would fit. They do like, come up a little bit higher too and kind of like flare out but they're so comfortable and i think that they're really cute with like the high waistedness and i like that they don't have a tie because i hate having to like untie and tie shorts every time you go to the bathroom it's really annoying to me <laughs> so i really like these ones good morning everyone i am getting ready for f45 i coach at 9 30 and or 8 30 and 9 45 so i just got up and i'm just getting ready for that all right i'm just making my coffee now so i'm using the coffee over cardio messy bun and i'm going to put it in this little reusable k-cup and i have some pumpkin spice creamer that i got that i showed you guys yesterday in the grocery haul so i'm gonna try that today too and i think it'll be good with this flavor because this flavor just gives like a cinnamon flavor so i think it'll mix well with the pumpkin spice creamer so literally all you do is fill 
the K cup, and then you close this little lid, and then there we go. So this is what I'm going to use. So I like to just put a little bit in the bottom of the cup so that when the coffee pours, it kind of mixes it. And then if I want to do more later, then I do more later. I'm going to make breakfast for Kyle and I. I don't really know what I feel like eating because I'm not that hungry. I usually eat my breakfast a little bit later now, which I used to like never do. But on like a normal work day, I'll just have a rice cake before I go to the gym. And then I'll eat breakfast around like 8.30 or 9. But I definitely have to eat something because my second class isn't over until 10.45. And I won't get home until like 11.30. So... I definitely need to eat something, but I'm just not really hungry, so I don't know what I'm feeling. Figured out though, but I'm making some bagels. So I've been using these Dave's Killer Bagels. I have the cinnamon raisin ones and the blueberry, and they're both really good. So I'm gonna make a bagel for Kyle, and then I'm gonna make some eggs and possibly some turkey sausage as well. All right, I just finished. Kyle's breakfast here it is an update on the pumpkin spice it's really good and it's really good with the cinnamon bun because of the cinnamon flavor mixed with pumpkin spice it's really good so and for those of you that don't know I just realized I didn't really explain this Kyle is my boyfriend so I am going to make a smoothie now so I'll show you guys what I'm putting in it. color but it's definitely gonna taste good still just got home from f45 we had two good classes for the morning and now i need to shower and get ready put some makeup on because we have a wedding to go to so i need to get a move on and i need to eat because i never had my protein bar because i didn't end up having time so all i had this morning was the smoothie and my coffee so i am so freaking hungry i just got ready it has honestly been such a crazy day so far with coaching in the morning and then having to get ready for the wedding and as you guys saw i only had my smoothie for breakfast and i still haven't eaten so while i'm getting ready kyle actually just ran out to get chick-fil-a and starbucks so that i can eat and then we have to get changed and leave pretty much so it's been a super <laughs> crazy day with working in the morning and then having to get ready for this wedding <laughs> this is my dress i got this dress from beachy and then i just have these wedges on from target i think i got them a really long time ago hey guys so i am going to start prepping some food we had the wedding last night and it's actually pretty early since we got home late not feeling the worst but also not feeling my best <laughs> so we're gonna power through but i'm starting my meal prep i have a lot to meal prep today i usually meal prep over like saturday and sunday but yesterday since we were so busy i didn't have time to prep anything so i'm doing all my prep today so i'm gonna start with my overnight oats and make this first um so i'll show you guys what i make my overnight oats with and how i do it all and first i just take normal um oats just like quaker oats and i'm taking a fourth of a cup scooper i usually do three fourths of a cup to a cup for the oats um it just kind of depends on how i'm feeling I, that is the first thing you will put in and then i do some chia seeds I, and I'm just using like a big spoon, probably like a tablespoon size amount and putting that in each 
of the containers. And then I'm just using um, my Belmar Cinnamon Roll Protein. This is the only protein that I use for my overnight oats because I just really like this flavor in it. So I do a full scoop in all of them adds like your flavor pretty much to your overnight oats so if you want to do a different type of overnight oats like i've done chocolate before and i put chocolate protein in so i'm just going to put a little bit of cinnamon in each of these um i really like cinnamon so i go like a little bit overboard So then once I have all my dry ingredients in it, then I just mix it up. So then I just add my milk. This is the milk that I use. And for this, I really just eyeball it. I don't um, use like a specific amount. You just want the oats to be um, covered just because the oats and the chia seeds will soak up a lot of the milk and I just mix all of this together so now that we have the milk and everything is mixed up now is when you can put toppings on so I always do coconut in mine I usually will do some sort of like strawberry or blueberry, but I actually don't have any right now. And then you just stick them in the fridge and eat them whenever you want. I do all five for the week. You can do one every night before and then eat it the next day. I don't think it tastes any different by making all five on the weekend and then eating them throughout the week. They taste exactly the same and it's not like they go bad because they sit in the fridge and then you just eat them then i have been meal prepping like crazy and now i'm just making breakfast too so i will show you guys what i've meal prepped so far so i have this sausage chicken um it's chicken sausage um spanish rice and black bean kind of mix and then i'm doing like a balsamic steak salad so i just put all the salad in here so i use spring mix um what else do I use? Spinach. And then there are bell peppers and cherry tomatoes that I cut in half. And then the corn will go in it as well. I just made it so it's a little bit warm and I didn't want to put it in when it's warm. So once it's in the fridge for a little bit, then I'll add it in there. And then same with the steak. So I just cooked this in fat-free balsamic dressing. And this will go in the salad as well. Meal prep is finally done for right now. I'm going to make dinner tonight and that'll be part of meal prep too but i have the salad the uh, i guess like gumbo jambalaya type mix and then i also just made some chicken that we can pair with whatever sort of sides that we want to so it's just um caesar marinated chicken just cut up the chicken and then i put it in a bowl with this boathouse farms creamy caesar dressing and then i stuck it in the air fryer until it was cooked i've literally just been laying on the couch watching the office all day but i just made dinner so i made enchiladas um that one just has extra ground beef on it so this is the last of the meal prep too that i would do for the week and i just use whole wheat car balanced tortillas and inside is just ground turkey with enchilada sauce you just mix those two together while it's cooking and then you fill the tortillas wrap them up put a little bit more enchilada sauce on top and then some cheese and stick it in the oven on 400 degrees for like 15 minutes for the rest of the night i'll probably just make a bomar mug cake for dessert and so that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll also put my instagram down below in the description for you guys to follow me over there and i'll see you guys in the next one